Okay, more questions from the internet. Oh, the internet. Yeah, Ratu and I are just, uh... Oh, the internet. We're just, we're just filming to be filming at this point. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's, man, that was crisp. Let me turn that off. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that was a goddamn one. What is an unwritten rule that you will always follow? I have a couple, actually. Number one, if you and a companion, part of your group, are walking together down a sidewalk, and there is a light post or a stop sign or something that gets in the way, and you walk by it together, you walk around it to the same way together. You do not split the pole. You do not split the lanes. You don't do that. That's one rule I will always follow. If I see behind me that someone went around to the other side and I'm like almost fully through, I'm going to back my ass up and walk around the same, the same side that they walked in. This is facts. He has done this before. God damn it. Walk my ass around. I will. He, he will do it. He stands on it. Um, An unwritten, unwritten rule. That you will always follow. I guess Even an unspoken rule. So that's like never written. I was going to say take your shoes off when you go inside of someone's house. Yes. Unless they say keep your shoes on. This is a, a, a shoes on household. Yeah. Always take your shoes off. But my first reaction <laughs> will be. Go inside the door, take them off, and then go off to the side if someone's behind me so I can take off my shoes. Mm -hmm. That is factual right um, there. Hold the door for the person behind you. I think I still do that. Yeah. I would still do it. I, would, I, I have a tick now where like I'll not look back entirely, but if I could see with my peripherals and I look at least to the right of me, I'll make sure I hold that door. Mm -hmm. Or I'll just like walk out the door and turn around. Oh, my bad. Yep. Exactly. Like, if you catch them later and they walk, they're pushing their door open, be like, oh, my bad. <clears throat> Another unwritten rule is when you're on the freeway, depending on how many lanes that particular part of the freeway has, or that particular freeway has, will dictate the speed that each lane is going at. Okay? Say there's only two lanes on this freeway. Pretty dangerous, but that's how it is on the way to Vegas. The first lane, being the far right lane, the lane exit, that lane is going to be 60 to 70 miles an hour. Maybe even 75. Oh, but, for but for sure, the right lane is like 70 plus. And if you're going 70 on the, on the left lane, you you're douchebag. You're yeah. holding up traffic. Don't go in the zoom zoom lane if you're not going to zoom zoom. <laughs> That's right. So, say if there's three lanes, far right lane is going to be 60, miles per hour 60 to 70. Middle lane, 70 to 80. Right lane, or left lane, I'm sorry. 80. And if you want to break the law. 80 and if you're in a rush. That, that's, that's something that I always follow. 80 and if you got to go, take it up. And it's yeah, turtling. That's fact. <laughs> that's fact. What about you? You got any other unwritten rules? Nothing. I can't, can't think of anything. Just, just right on top of my head. I think that's good for me. Yeah, I know. Again, we're just, we're just pulling these. Out of our ass. What is something men don't get to experience in relationships, but girls do? Oh, that's one thing that I thought of because I thought about this one. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that I can think of. If you're like me with my same values, which Rontu, I would say you're very similar. You are the man. Mm -hmm. You lay down the law as needed. By that I mean. You are the... Oh, my bad. Not that long. You the provider <laughs> <laughs> and the protector. <laughs> and not saying to my own significant other, to my wonderful fiance, that she's not able uh, to protect herself. She actually knows some martial arts, you know, and she's decently strong. Protect and serve. But when we are together, I know I am the protector. She is the protectee. Mm. I will never be the protectee. Okay. That's, that's a solid. That, that's just how I am as a person. If your views don't line up with that, I respect it. But this is how I am. If you are in a relationship with me, I am going to protect you. I'm going to provide for you. 
I'm going to keep you safe, keep you fed. My job. So I think men don't get to feel protected. I mean, emotionally is one thing, but I'm talking like actually physically. Like, man busts through the back door right now, and you upstairs, and she's downstairs. I'm running my ass downstairs. I'm jumping off of the, the top yeah, of the yeah. stairs and, and tackling this man. Or a sealant. How do I phrase this without getting in trouble? <laughs> it's already going to be in trouble. It's, too late. it's already too late. <laughs> oh, I don't think she can protect me. I mean, yes, yeah, she's going to do her best, and maybe she'll be able to hold them off. Do I expect her to try and stop? No, absolutely not. I expect her to ride, hide, and uh, yeah. protect her. Say, help! No. And then get to safety. No, no, that's something. <laughs> oh, two coming upstairs. One's cracked. If what? I, <laughs> if I hear that, say last. <laughs> say last, my boy. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm going to the court and marrying her that day. <laughs> I, I am. I miss when LeBron was on here. Not even a basketball fan. He was the endorsement. Let me tell you something. The cheddar and sour cream. Ruffles. Top three chip for me. Sour cream. Ritz. Top, top two. That's top two? Not even one. Not even two. There's one. Okay, top three chips then. Ooh. As we're crunching into the microphones. I wouldn't. Man. Ah! I apologize for all for everyone who's actually listening to this. Cause I'm gonna leave it in. I'm too lazy to edit these. Top five? Yeah, that's the top five. I'll go. Lay's barbecue. That's be my fifth. Okay, you're gonna go from five to four. Five five, five to one. one sorry. Five to four. <laughs> what about the other three? <laughs> what are you talking about? I got them all. <laughs> what are you talking about, stupid? <laughs> I got all five. Look. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. Yeah. So, Lay's barbecue. Number five. Number five. Then I would do the cheddar sour cream ruffles. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do the jalapeno uh, kettle chips. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Or uh. Yeah, kettle chips. I'll do kettle chips. A jalapeno one, though. Jalapeno one. Change like that with a nice Jersey Mike sandwich. So that should have be been number three, but number two would be. Number two would be, holds well, very deep, deep down in my heart, is the barbecue. It's honey. Oh, it's honey barbecue uh, Frito Twist. Oh, the wait, honey barbecue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they had that and they had the, the chili cheese. Yeah. Oh, the chili cheese is good, too. But the honey barbecue, that one. Those that was my number two. And my number one would be the sour cream and onion ruffles. Ruffles. That's a, sol- that's a solid five. Five chips, my boy. For me? Oh, man. I'm reaching. I'm reaching for this one. I've had plenty of chip. Um. Let me tell you something. I got so scared just now. I looked from the corner of my eye and I see the hat with the basketball on uh-huh. her. It looked like a face. <laughs> I said, <laughs> got me messed up. Okay. Deputy Wilson. So, number five to number one. I think it'll be. Oh, damn. I don't know, actually. Huh? Okay. I don't know how I would rate these in order, but original Cheetos. Okay. Um. Uh, cheddar sour cream, uh, ruffles, funyuns. Oh, funyuns, solid. Funyuns. Um, uh, the kettle chips, but the salt and vinegar. Ooh, that one is solid too. Brown bag. And, um, fuck. What will be the last one? I did original Cheetos. Cheetos, ruffles. Um, Lays? I didn't do legs yet, but honestly, nothing on the Doritos end either. Oh, yeah, I'm not that big of a Doritos fan. Doritos on a nice, hot, sunny pool day. Oh, okay, on a sunny pool day, yeah, they hit different with a but, nice blue Gatorade, uh, Powerade, Powerade or Gatorade. 
Oof. Uh, I'm leaning more toward Gatorade. Same. Okay. Like, if Powerade's in the house, I'm drinking it. Yeah, yeah. I'm still, it's still a valid drink. But if I had to choose between the two, Gatorade. even if Gatorade's a little bit more, which it usually is, nope. I'm paying the extra, like, 10 cents. Sorry. Continue. Talk it. What did I say? Uh, Cheetos, uh, cheddar sour cream, um, Your number two was bunions, and then the salt and vinegar. Kettles. Salt and vinegar. What is the last one? I can't even think of of chip flavors. Time for Gulu Gulu. Have you seen that actually? <laughs> it's um, it's uh, like a vine from a long time ago. It's like a like a village, and like there's a there's a lady in front of a chalkboard. It has Google's written on it. Google's written on the chalkboard. And there's like, like 10, 8 to 10 students. Yeah. She's going, G, G, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh. It was like, Gulu, Gulu. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> she spelled it out and everything. Gulu, Gulu. Okay, what was I looking up? I was Chips. looking up. Chips. And I'm going to mention some honorable mentions after you're done. Chips. Potato chips. Potato. Potatoes. You boil them, fry them, put them in a stew? Can, okay. There's so many different chips that I'm not even familiar with. What? You know what? I know what my last chip is going to be. All right, go for it. Last chip, or not the last chip, but one of the chips in the top five. Pizza Pringles. I just saw that and I was like, I need to have this. <laughs> I saw that. That brought me back. Pringles. <laughs> Pringles, bro. When you got when you got the pack of Pringles inside your Lunchables, <laughs> compared to whatever. Oh, we got, we got money. <laughs> we got money. If I saw Pizza Pringles in the freaking, oh. we got we got, we getting out of the cafeteria with we this get one. Out. <laughs> We're getting out of the cafeteria. We're getting out of the free lunch line, all right? Oh, my God. That's hilarious. We're getting out of the free lunch line. Yeah. So, uh, cheddar sour cream, Cheetos, Funyuns, uh, salt and vinegar, and pizza Pringles. In what order? Tell you later, because I can't, I I honestly couldn't pick. (laughs) If, I, if all it's, five were put in front of me, it's the, I'm getting I'm getting a sample platter. It's the number, it's the number and words that makes, messes them up. <laughs> uh, honorable mention would be Hot Cheetos Asteroids. The balls, the balls, bro. You, do they still make them? I don't think so. I, I think remember they brought see- it back, right? I remember seeing them. Yeah, they brought it back for a little bit. And like, it was like short lived, but they were only available at like the ninety nine cent store. Yeah, yeah short lived. Oh, you know what? Damn. I, th- I think it's just because I haven't had Hot Cheetos in a very, very long time, but Hot Chili Limon should have been on, up there on my top five. That that took a lot of my... The high school my, my, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Chili Limon, slept on. Even, honestly, their jalapeno cheddar ones, pretty good. That one is good, too. Yeah, yeah. That with the, with the, poor, oh, okay. with the poor man's lunch meat sandwich. Between the two, regular Cheetos or Cheetos Puffs? Cheetah Puffs. Really? Yeah. You know, I thought I was going to be able to, to choose Puffs also. But now I'm thinking, like, damn, does that have the same crunch? But you, because it's puffed, it's full of air, mm-hmm. it doesn't feel like you're eating as much. You know, damn well, it's the same amount. Yeah, same amount. So you get more of a, I guess, a lesser crunch out of the puff. It's just like yeah, one, it's like one two, yeah, two bites, and then it just dissolves. Facts. Call the doctor. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Call the doctor. Dr. Pepper. Um, yeah, so top five chips. That's it. Solid. I think solid. I'm messing up the camera by going in and out. My bad, Cam. Yeah, it's because... Not focal point. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're still working on the set and everything. This episode right here, we're just pushing. Did we talk about the paperclip? We didn't talk about the paperclip. I don't know what the paperclip is, but okay. If you were given... Uh, million Uh dollars to hide a paperclip from a detective and he has seven days to find it where are you hiding it Mm. can i just toss it in the deep blue ocean tossing two russ will take it 
Seven days, that'll be gone. I thought of the deep. <laughs> I thought of the paper clip sinking. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> and he gave me like the the chills. Um He froze. He froze the place just now. He was at a dark place mentally. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my <laughs> old friends. <laughs> Um, it would definitely be, I think I would just have to throw in the ocean, but if it's a detective, he'll know that I bought the ticket to go out. Like I would have to have a friend that has a boat. I got to ask around. I don't got boat money. I ain't got boat money neither. Or you take a trip to Catalina Island. And, yo, yeah, there you go. That's, that's solid. Seven days. In the middle of the ocean. I think, I think it's doable. I want to type. Because the, 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 how far it could drift from. The surface to the bottom. Who knows if it landed like a mile or so in a in a certain direction? I want to Google it, but I can't physically just see I'm, what I'm typing because I want to have it in my head. I wanted to type in how deep is that ocean from like from here to Catalina? How deep is the ocean? But from I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it anymore. I think <laughs> you don't want to ruin the trip to Catalina. I don't want to ruin it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on the, this boat, probably tipsy, and be like. We can die right here. <laughs> um, I would just start with the Do bottom. Do we ocean. realize that this boat crashes right now? <laughs> yeah, I would just start in the bottom of the ocean. Bottom of the ocean. Bottom of the ocean. I thought about that too, but probably, probably like a little unorthodox thinking. Throw it in a giant bin where they make paper clips. <laughs> Throw it in that bin, let that motherfucker distribute, and then just leave it up to chance. And leave it up to chance. Oh, there you go. You go straight to the source. See, bottom of the ocean, I think, is more secure. Yeah, but I like that one too. But then at the same time, it doesn't say. This is just me adding to the question. Yeah, yeah. This is me. It doesn't say like, and you need to retrieve it. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 to claim the million. Yeah, dollars. you can eat a big fat one. I gotta go. Yeah, right. <laughs> go face my deepest darkest fear, darkest fear, to get it for a milli. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> for how much? A milli. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm just adding shit. Man. Now I'm a millionaire, but now I'm going through it. <laughs> I gotta go to therapy <laughs> twice a week. See you there every other day. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new painting yeah do you like it it's the ocean no oh, i'm so sorry brian <laughs> take this painting down <laughs> i was going for a more calming effect <laughs> it's supposed to be soothing so <laughs> just, yeah i would start the ocean and have it be whatever to retrieve it, I ain't yeah. doing it. Yeah, if we have to retrieve it, even I'm boned. If I watch that motherfucker just get shipped off, yeah, nah. into into a hundred different directions, I'm fucked. Yeah. What popular consumer product is actually a giant ripoff? Wait, say that one more time. What popular consumer product is actually a giant ripoff? So, like, what thing that is readily available and everywhere? Is a ripoff? Is actually a giant ripoff. Do you remember uh, in 2000 during the pandemic, they were selling canned oxygen? Yep. That shit pissed me off. They were selling it for like 10, 20 bucks a can. Are you yeah. dead ass? Some fuck it for literally like this size bottle of fucking air? <laughs> Here you go. Congratulations. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was that shit. Um, back in like the late 2010-ish, like around that time, mm-hmm. they had those Eon uh, waist, uh, wristbands. They were like power energy wristbands. Yes. And then yes. like every like, like the athlete. The Strong who, bands, right? Not the Live Strong. The ones, well, Live Strong was just a regular band. It was just for oh, like, Armstrong. I, I know what you're talking about. It the one that had, had like that, like, that little circular... aluminum foil in the middle. That, that thing right there. That was a fucking scary. That was wild. And then they made necklaces out of it. They had it. I feel energized. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't, Clarice. Shut up. <laughs> that was a big ripoff. Um, that shit was definitely a big ripoff. 
um, car oil, like, uh, just fill it up with cooking oil, you'll be fine. (laughs) What a ripoff! Don't do that, 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 don't do that. Get my ass in trouble. (laughs) Um, what other consumer product is a very popular? I, I'm just snacking. Trying to remember what else is there. I don't. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna have to abruptly end this podcast because my laptop is running out of uh, space for memory. So make sure you subscribe for more content. I apologize. I'm chewing. Actually, Rodney, why don't you do the outro? What's up, y'all? Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, any new ideas that you may have for our next video. Um, remember. We're sponsored by Never Dubby. Dubby. <laughs> no, I was gonna say something. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> by this, uh, <laughs> follow us on our Instagram. Two big bears. Official. Official, like a referee whistle. Without the like a referee whistle. Mm-hmm. That's Cisco. I'm Ratu. We at your mother's house. Bye, y'all. <laughs>